good afternoon and welcome to a very special audio dedicated to the scents of autumn. I got inspired today to uh, to record um, this <laughs> uh, to talk about the sense of various things that create um, a painting of aroma, different scents of autumn specifically. Now, the reason that I would like to focus on autumn is because um, it's my favorite season of the entire year to the point that I would not mind if it was always autumn. My second favorite season is winter, then spring, and last summer. This may sound a little unusual. <laughs> Most people I know love summer, but I don't. Uh, I do like some aspect of it, like the ocean and the fact that the day lasts a lot more and during the night. They're amazing scents as well. But Let's not get sidetracked and let's focus on the scents that create autumn for me. The first scent that I would like to describe is the morning dew. So I will take this from dawn to dusk to late night and back again. So, right before the sun starts to appear, the sky is dark blue, slowly shifting into a pale blue somewhere in the distance. And where I live, you can smell wet leaves, fresh wet leaves, you can smell grass, you can smell flowers, you can smell the air being misty and waking up in sensation of mystery something that causes you to want to jump out the window and go into the night and find some magic adventures in the forest because I do live in a forest so when the sun begins to appear and you start to see the light of day. You uh, you start to smell the flowers a lot more because there are many many types of flowers where I live. We have chamomile growing everywhere. Maybe not this season exactly, but generally we do. We have many, many roses growing all around the neighborhood. We have many daisies. And other flowers that I'm not sure what their names are. <laughs> Let's just say all the wild flowers fill the air with their scents. 
when the morning comes. There is a soft breeze in the morning too. It carries all the scents. It fills your senses. When the sun is highest in the sky, you can smell grapes. Many people here grow grapes in their yards or fields, and that scent is carried all around the forest. A very sweet, heavy smell of grapes. It is quite wonderful. It gives you a hint of summer feeling. But it does make you realize that their time is over, and it is time for crunchy leaves instead of fruit. In the afternoon, you can smell. Mostly, scents from the neighbors' kitchens. Everyone is cooking, and there are very amazing cooking smells. Various different dishes, all traveling around the neighborhood, making you hungry if you happen to be taking a walk at that time of the day. Which is a bit rare because the sun is still quite, quite warm. Uh, since it's not mid-October, <laughs> where autumn is officially in, it's still mid-September. So the sun burns as much as it did a few months ago. My favorite time starts around late evening. Around 8 p.m., when dusk starts to appear, when the sun leaves the scenery and it is replaced by little shadows, you can start hearing all sorts of crickets, frogs, owls, and the air starts becoming moist again. You can smell the leaves again. You can smell the roses. All the heat of the day slowly soothes your senses and turns into a misty cold sensation which has an amazing scent. The mist starts to sit on the leaves and takes away the heat from the sun so you can smell the leaves all around the trees. Then night progresses and the sky is filled with stars the mysterious night scent fills your senses again it wakes up memories for me but not memories I can remember it's more like trying to remember a dream, but you can only remember the sensation of it, rather than actual images or sounds from a dream. It's like a subconscious thing. It's like it triggers my imagination. I'll whisper for a little bit now. When
reasons are what I love the most. They make me feel at home. some soft speaking again. I am still getting used to this binaural microphone. I'm kind of obsessed with it. I'm still learning how to speak into each side. I hope it's not creating any noise. When I say some consonants such as P, I hope it doesn't do that Even the smell of the sea changes when autumn arrives. It becomes slightly different. Any trees around, you know, the beach have a more intense smell during autumn. And you focus less on the smell of the sea and the beach and the sand. as well. So, since we talked about the dreamy sense of the night, I will take you back to the dawn, to the morning dew, to the little tiny crystal drops of mist sitting gloriously on the grass. That's my favorite thing to do, to walk out there when these amazing magic drops are on the leaves and the grass. And I take pictures of that. It's my favorite thing to our journey of sense with the dreamy smell of fresh warm sheets of your bed that amazing scent when you have just changed your sheets and your pillowcase and you enjoy that amazing amazing scent and after thinking about all the scents of the forest and you're tired and sleepy you lay down in your soft bed and you place your head on your soft warm pillow and you take a deep deep breath (sighs) 
and you slowly let go of reality, of your dick, and you let yourself fall asleep. You let yourself relax. You let yourself dream, dream that you are going on an adventure in the magic forest. And with that thought, sleep and I hope that I have managed to create a little painting of a place where I am my magic forest because everything that surrounds you is only what you make of it and I like to see my neighborhood as a magical magic to me comes from nature nature is magical it's beautiful good night my friend sleep well I will see you